my spinning new guy. You coming back to the job, bro? No. I came in yesterday, but I got squeezed out of the seat. Special occasion, girl. I have an interview. Okay, okay. Wait, is that my phone? Hold on. No. What's it saying again? The interview, man. Oh yeah, the interview. It's um, it's at the Red Man Clinic. Receptionist. Okay. Oh, don't worry, Dims. After today, I'll buy you a new one. What? One of them new Sony widescreens? Oh, don't get happy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope I get this one, you know, because it's the first interview since the library, okay. and that was a close one. They said that I had too much energy for the post. <laughs> That's what they said. I could bring the letter in for you. You can't read between the lines. There's nothing in between the lines, just gaps. Oh, uh, you should get that, man. I hope so, you know. Telling you, I've probably that blasted shoe shop. It's just pure f Excuse me, that. there's customs in the establishment. What did I say? F Chris. No, I never. Peter, you're back, man. Chuck. Anyway, like I was saying, shape. Every lunchtime, guys comes in there and it's just pure shit. They're talking to me. Mm. One guy comes in and looks at my badge. So this is him, Chevelle. That's a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. I said that's the name of the shop you idiot. <laughs> and then I was complaining about my job and everything I say to him, he replied to me in a poem. This is him, shoes, shoes. Don't worry about the shoes. Spend the night with me and I'll wipe away your winter food. Yeah. Is he here? I said, you know what? I don't care for your fancy wine, because I am already taken, and my man is fine. Okay, you this is it, I'm telling you. Pure idiot in there. <laughs> and not the wickedest thing is, it's foot stick. Mm -mm. It's stick, it's stick, it's stick, it's stick, it's stick, it's stick. <laughs> when I tell you I had to burn incense in a men's apartment, and even that wasn't strong enough. No, that don't make it, that's not make it. Oh, when you take off your shoes, turn around, shop empty. Mm. Finish, everybody gone. Mm. Any man, I can't test my wiley. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go now, because I don't wanna be late for my interview. Okay. Wiley said if I get this one, he's going to treat me. Yeah, Wiley looking after you now? Of course, how you mean? Yeah, that's all. Bye, Shex. Listen, you Mwah. take care, yeah? You too. Remember to ask fair questions at the interview, though, yeah? Yeah, Wiley's sister used to work in a hospital. She told me what to say. All right, you take care. Bye, Dibs. <laughs> Bye. Later. So, you've worked in a busy reception before? Yes. Oh, I don't see reception work on your CV. Well, it's not exactly a reception as such. I um, <clears throat> I work in a shoe shop. That's absolutely not a reception, is it? No, but you do get enough people coming in at the same time asking questions. That's a fair point. And how do you deal with these people? I just tell them to wait and somebody will be with them shortly. Excuse me. No, just sit and wait. And what if they don't wait? Then I would politely ask them to bear with us. And if we were short staff, I would apologize and explain that we were short staffed and that we are doing everything in our powers to serve everyone as quickly as possible. Look, it's either you wait or you know what you can do. It's about people skills, isn't it? Well, this is it. I mean, we get a lot of customers coming in every day. And if they still refuse to wait? Look, you see it? Come on, get out. Get out! And don't come up to your house of manners!
Now I'm sure you. Is that your phone? Oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Hi babe, you right? Yeah. Can I call you back in a bit? I'm at the clinic. What do you mean, what have I got? I've got my interview, what you forget? Yeah, I know, but I'm sure it can wait. Okay, I'll call you back later. Alright then. Okay, bye. That's my Wiley. <laughs> oh, look. There he is. As you can see, he's got very unusual eyes. They're pointing in different directions. Miss Jacob, I was about to point out the very sensitive nature of this particular establishment. Now, you won't be expected to meet those issues head on. However, should a situation arise whereby a waiting patient were to discuss his circumstances with you, what skills do you possess to deal with such a, a matter? So, come again? Why do you think you, 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 you want to work here? Um, just told you two minutes ago. But uh, dealing with customers' shoe problems is not the same as dealing with problems of a sexual nature. Well, I know all about sex. I mean, who doesn't? You don't understand my point, do you? Me and Wiley have a very good sex life. Problem free, always has been. Thank you. And that would be your response to a man with a sexual problem? Well, he should have kept his little self quiet then, innit? Then he wouldn't have to be here in the first place. Well, the queries about STDs are few and far between. I mean, in my years of yes, thank work... Thank you, Miss Jacob. Uh, thank you for your time. So, that's it then. You're finished. Why did you leave me like this? <laughs> Lucy, what happened? Wiley! Wiley! What happened to Wiley? Did he have an accident or something? No. Worse. He's left me! What do you mean? He's left you. Dump me! Finish with me! Sack me! How much more me than you want? But why? I mean... Did he find someone else? No. He fetched because I didn't get the job. You didn't get it, Luce? No. And you know, I thought the job was mine when I left that place. So how come you didn't get it? I think I was overqualified. They must have seen all those courses that you'd done. Exactly! They don't know I don't finish them. So Wiley dumped you for that? I didn't say my mouth too big. What? And I cussed too much. What did you say to that? I cussed him in it! Alright, babe. Shh, calm down. Lucy, Lucy, calm down. Why don't you come over tonight? No way, man. I can't move. What about tomorrow? Tomorrow's out. I've got a business lunch to go to with Dimples. What about Saturday? Oh, that's years away. This meeting's important. I'm sitting here surrounded by paperwork. So am I! You know what? It's alright. I'll be alright. Here, we'll buy myself. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Oh. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Oh, thanks, yeah? What for? For always being there, most of the time. Cause I've been trying to fight this, don't wanna be like this. Why don't you come on home to me?